Uh, the Prime Minister has given a call tomorrow at 9 p.m. Everybody should light a lamp or a candle or at least uh, flash your cell phone thing. Please don't do your cell phone, not here. Uh, we will... we will put up a, a big fire show because the element of fire in the Bhuta Shuddhi system of yoga and our ability to stand up as a strong life are very related. If we want to find out whether you are alive or dead, we will check whether it's warm or cold. That means whether the fire is on or gone. Everything that you call as life on this planet is only because of the fire of the sun. A fireball is burning there. Only because of that life has happened. All the other ingredients may be there, it's like cooking. Everything may be there, no fire, no cooking. So life has cooked itself up mainly because of the fire of the sun. The basic energy in the world is just that. So using fire as a way of keeping ourselves well is very much a part of the yogic system. As you can take a water shower, you can also take a fire wash, which we are doing as Klesha Nasana Kriya. It's producing incredible results for people. So tomorrow, as a nation, the Prime Minister is requesting us to have a little fire around you, at least for nine minutes. You don't have to stop at nine minutes. I am advising every one of you, keep a lamp in your bedroom in a safe distance from you where you sleep and let it burn every night. It'll make a world of difference for you. So, otherwise, you must have a powerfully consecrated spaces which is like fire burning all the time. Either this or that, one of the things must be done in every home. Always a lamp used to be burning, always in an Indian home. Now, unfortunately, because people are seeing it as a... Uh, an act of a particular religion, others don't want light. Otherwise, others don't want to wire light a lamp because if you light a lamp, you may get converted. This is just stupid. <coughs> well, I think some religion may claim water, then don't have shower, don't wash your hands. <laughs> because it is part of some religion, before they pray, they wash their hands. So you don't wash your hands because if you do this, you will get converted to that religion. This is just stupid. So every doctor is saying, wash your hands. Does it mean to say he is asking you to con get convert yourself to Islam or something? Everybody washes their hands, everybody uses fire in their homes. This is most important thing is, apart from what benefit it has, the most important thing is, right now, what decides we successfully get across this situation or not, is how cohesively India acts like one person. This is the only solution for us. We don't have enough hospital beds, we don't have enough ICUs, we don't have enough ventilators. If millions of people fall sick tomorrow, we just will have to let them die. That's all the option will be. So let's not take it there, it's very important we all come together, irrespective of your religious beliefs, political ideologies, whatever nonsense you are. <laughs> let's do one sensible thing that we stand together as one nation because right now, virus is not making any distinction whether you are this religion or that religion, what is your ideology, it doesn't check. It's going at everybody. Started in communist China, now invading capitalist America. You can't stop it. It's not a communist virus. <laughs> it has no ideology, no religion, it just goes for you. So let us also go for it as one. This is important. So tomorrow we will tell you what we will be doing at the yoga center. Most probably we will also live webcast it. So please watch out and be with us. We'll take that ahead.